All right, so I saw Spider Man. All right, uh, I'm not gonna bullshit anybody here. Now, I know I'm a big DC fan. I know, and I said in a previous video that uh, I wasn't gonna pay to see Spider Man. And I stand by that. I have not paid to see Spider-Man at all. Um, my friends invited me to go. And my best friend paid for my ticket. Uh, so, I, you know, I, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Like, turn them down? <laughs> no. I don't want a free ticket. <laughs> you know? Theater we went to wasn't... Too crowded. I was a little surprised by that. We went on Sunday, so I was expecting a decent crowd. But, you know, it's a sporadic crowd. I There was more fee people at the Wonder Woman screening the day before. I saw Wonder Woman on Saturday, and there was more people on that screening. So that, that surprised me a little bit. But, you know, trailer's pretty boring. You know, Jumanji was the one trailer that caught my eye. <laughs> I was like, all right. I like Jack Black, so here we go. And there's that sci-fi movie. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it looks pretty dope. All the, at least the special effects look good. Like John Carter. <laughs> like it looks like that. Um, but Spider-Man movie. I'm just going to say right now, I, I liked it. I didn't think it was like a horrible movie. I didn't think it was a, the worst Spider-Man film. I think that belongs to Amazing Spider-Man 2. I think that's the worst Spider-Man film. Second worst is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 1, <laughs> and then it's Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man 1, and then Spider-Man 2, right? Spider-Man 2 is obviously the best Spider-Man. And I would rate, I would think I would put Homecoming right next to, like, the first Spider-Man movie, you know? Like, it's, I think it's that good, you know? But, you know, I, I think the best part of the movie was the villain. Which is shocking for a Marvel movie. Michael Ke Keaton, he fucking killed it as Vulture. Man, that was amazing. Uh, his whole... Fa like, he talks about the whole movie. I, I'm doing this for my family. And he just keeps saying that. And then eventually, you see his family. And it's a big twist in the end. Spoilers, obviously, for all these videos. I think you all know that, but... Um, the fucking love interest, turns out, the father of the love interest is... The Vulture, Michael Keaton, you know, it's a, it's a nice little twist that I could have sworn I've seen in, like, a bunch of other movies. I could have sworn I've seen that in another movie. I can't name the movie, but I could have sworn I've seen it before. I loved how the movie opened with Vulture <clears throat> and the construction crew and uh, at right after Avengers, the highest point in the <laughs> MCU, right? The Avengers movie. That's a great place to open. The best thing that ever happened to the MCU. <laughs> And so I thought that was a good little callus. Punches a guy. Almost gets shot punching a guy, but you know. Whatever. But, you know, that's the thing about this movie. Is the vulture really a villain? Is he really a villain? Uh, <laughs> I I didn't think of him as a villain that much. I mean, even when he kills uh, one of his henchmen, like, it's an accident. He even goes to the guy, like, I thought that was the gravity gun. <laughs> And the guy's like, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's a stupid joke. And there's a lot of stupid jokes in this film that are funny, you know? Stupid jokes can be funny. There's a lot of them in this film, though. I felt like this film was more of like a action comedy, you know? Like Rush Hour. <laughs> like the Rush Hour movies. That's what it felt like when I was watching it. Just like joke after joke after joke. When the, the but some of them were really funny, like when Spider Man's running across a golf course or something, and he goes, "This sucks," <laughs> because he can't web sling anything. And that was funny, and then they do it again, though. You know, and they kind of just kill the joke when they do it the second time, because it's like, really, Spider Man, you can't think of any way to go faster. Is he that? You know, he's I think he's like fifteen in the movie, but is he that dumb? <laughs> Why doesn't he just sling his webs, like, to the ground and, like, catapult his way forward, you know? Slingshot his way forward. Like you do in the video games. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I play too many video games. Too many Spider-Man video games. 
But yeah, like, why wouldn't you just slingshot your way forward? Instead of running. I feel like that would be quicker, but whatever. But, so yeah, the joke hit the first time. The second time, I didn't like the joke. <laughs> it was like, wow, you really were doing this again? He can't figure out some way to go faster? Um. Uh, and the fucking, the, the fucking emo cunt in the movie who's like, I'm not your friend, <laughs> you know, you guys are losers, I'm not your friend, that fucking bitch, she turns out to be MJ, not Mary Jane, but just, uh, her initials is MJ, her first name's like Michelle, it's stupid, I hope she's really not MJ, I hope they change that in future films, because she annoyed the fuck out of me. Like, I just want to fuck, oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, fucking, that was like the, it's like the worst fucking person you want to be around. <laughs> and that's MJ. Ugh. It's horrible. Uh. Yeah, what, what, and Peter Parker, I, I don't get it. Well, is he a nerd in the school? Because he seems like he's not much of an outcast. He's not much of a nerdy guy. And the guy picking on him, uh, Flash, the, uh, his bully, uh, he's shorter than him. And he's in the same math group as him, you know? He's in the same goddamn, like, nerdy-ass group as Peter Parker. So how the fuck is Flash his bully, you know? Like, uh, if anything, Peter Parker probably feels bad for Flash, right? <laughs> um, they're both nerd. Everyone's a fucking nerd. I don't get it. <laughs> right uh what makes peter parker an outcast you know why is peter parker's fucking aunt why why is she so fucking hot you know like i was feeling sexual tension between her and her son like that's not something her well her adopted son but still i was st like it just felt like there was like sexual te tension it was just weird it was throwing me off Maybe yeah, I was just me. I don't know. <laughs> but she was fucking hot. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't feel like I want to be attracted to Aunt May, you know? Yeah, I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> because every time I've seen her, she's always been old. I mean, like, we're talking every single movie and cartoon show. And most comic books, she's old. Like, it's just a weird thing to do. It's like if they made a... Well, they kind of made Superman's mom hot. You know, they, I mean, let's be honest, Diane Lane is fucking hot as fuck. I mean, come on. But, but she, they still put the old lady makeup on her and gave her gray hair and stuff. So they still kept her like in her late fifties, you know, it's looking like late fifties, somewhere around there. That's where Superman's mom's at. Mar Martha Kent. <laughs> But, but fucking Aunt May, she looks like she's fucking, like, 40, like, 42, maybe. Like, not even, like, she's hot. I've, I drop everything I'm doing to get with that shit. Um, <laughs> but, they had good actors in the movie, too. Michael Keaton, the fucking guy that's in Prometheus, the lead in Prometheus, he's in this movie, too. Um, the Spider-Man, he was fine. He was fine for, like, a kid version of Spider-Man. I, I personally like the 25-year-old, you know, mid-20s Spider-Man. You know, he kind of has a bunch of shit figured out, and he's just trying to make sure no one else fucking dies <laughs> that's close to him, you know? <laughs> that's what he's worried about, right? Uh, the suit made by Tony Stark was probably the lowest point in the movie for me. I just hated that. I hate it that his fucking spidey sense is just gone. And it was replaced by a suit that's made by Tony Stark. I just fucking hate that. Like, I, is there no other way? <laughs> like, you have, Tony Stark has to give him a suit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he couldn't have made the suit himself. You know, he can't already have a spidey sense. Like, I don't understand. And he got the sexy, like, robot lady voice talking to him in his head. I mean, in his suit, you know? Like, what's the point of that, man? <laughs> like, 
is this supposed to be giving Spider-Man like a fucking hard on when he's fucking in the suit or something? Like this is ridiculous. Like it should just be like a normal voice or not a voice at all. I don't know. Maybe the suit just did shit for him. That would have been weird. It's like the suit like took over, you know? And he's just like, stop it, stop it, you know. He's trying to turn it off. But, yeah, I mean, like, it, if anything, this movie makes Spider-Man kind of dumb, you know? Like, before, Peter Parker's supposed to be, like, this brilliant fucking, you know, nerdy fucking science kid that nobody likes because he's, he's, like, way smarter than everybody, you know? He's an outcast and everything. And he builds his own web slingers and he fucking, he builds all his spider, all his spa, like, spider tech shit. That is in this movie. And that's cool that we get to see all his little spider tech shit. Like the spider. A web grenade. Um, yeah the electric webs. Like that shit. Is, that's just pretty cool. I'm just a little. You know disappointed that. It couldn't have been Peter Parker. Making it. You know it has to be Tony fucking Stark. You know like Tony Stark is this fucking genius. This fucking drunk genius. Right. <laughs> Like, how is he this smart, you know? How's fucking Robbie Downey Jr. that smart? Guy does coke every fucking day. How is he that smart? Uh, Peter Parker should be smarter than Tony Stark. That's just how I feel. <laughs> you know? But, I think Vulture saved the movie. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you can get a good movie without Michael Keaton. I think if you put another actor in that role, I think it would have been shit. <laughs> Honestly, um, I think Michael Keaton just totally took over, you know, kind of stole every goddamn scene he was in and saved the movie in the end of the day. So, uh, great movie. I was really, I mean, really good movie. I was really shocked by how, uh, like how much I liked the vulture and Michael Keaton. Like I was shocked at how much I liked it. I want to see more of it, you know. I'm glad he didn't die at the end. I thought, uh, that thought they would kill him right there. I'm like, wow, is the MCU going to get some balls here and kill off a villain right now? And it's like, nah. <laughs> We're not going to kill anybody in these movies. Don't worry. <laughs> like, why would we have stakes in the movie, right? <laughs> We're just going to kill some henchmen that you have no idea. But, you know, they're played by good actors, so. You know, it's just a good way to get a good actor in there, I guess. Uh, kill him off quickly. Fucking stupid. It's, I don't know. I don't know. It's, a, it's just a bunch of weird stuff. Lots of jokes. I mean, I think that's my biggest takeaway from the film. Like, like, god damn. Like, this, there was so much humor in this fucking movie. I felt like it could have been a spoof of Spider-Man almost, you know? <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you had another, like, ten minutes of just, like, jokes, it would have been, like, a fucking comedy. It would have been a spoof. Like, I I think it was too much for my taste, but I'm sure it was just the right amount for some people. Like, but I think it was just a little bit too much. And the fucking song, that fucking song, I don't give a damn about my reputation. Nah, 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 nah. But how... Can you use a most overplayed song, like, ever? Like, <laughs> is that what the executives were telling the fucking directors? <laughs> They're like, just use the most overplayed song in movie history for this scene. <laughs> like, you can't think of any other fucking song. Uh, god damn. Like, that almost killed it when I heard that music. It's like, god damn, I'm so sick of this fucking song. This song's in fucking Shrek, for God's sakes. I want to hear it again. And they had to play that and play it in the credits. And a Sinister Six kind of teaser, kind of, not really, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, two members talking to each other. That's the mid-credits scene. I didn't even stay for the end credits. We left. We, we stayed for the mid-credits. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, that was nice that Vulture kept Peter Parker's identity a secret. Don't know why he would. Isn't he a villain? That wants to kill Peter for putting him in jail? I, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, 
I think I enjoyed it for the most part, you know. I can go all day and just start picking, nitpicking uh, to death, everything. But there's some big things in the movie that I just don't like from the get-go. You know, Peter Parker's suit replacing his Spidey sense. Uh, Tony Stark being in the movie at all. I just didn't like that at all. I'd be like, God, get him out of here. <laughs> like, I just want Spider-Man right now. Uh, happy. <laughs> John Favreau, he's funny. <laughs> he's funny. He lightened it up. Why are you calling me? Stop calling me. <laughs> I call you. <laughs> but, you know, it's just pretty funny. Would I watch it again? I don't know. I don't think I want to. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'll have to watch it again. I I, I get it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I missed. You know, um, it's not. Yeah, it's not that. I don't know. I have no need. I feel no need to watch the movie again. You know, I felt a need to watch Wonder Woman again. Like you know, the second I finished watching, I was like, God, I gotta watch that movie again. But like this, I'm like, eh, I'm good. <laughs> like, I, I got it. We're good. Uh, we, I got it. There's no Venom. I get it. <laughs> you know, I'm just waiting for Venom to pop up here. I don't give a fuck. But yeah. So yeah, I would say I liked it, you know. I ain't gonna fucking score it. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I liked it. Obviously. I mean... Just because it's in the MCU, it's just got to have this certain tone and this certain fucking bullshit style, you know? It's happy-go-lucky all the time. Uh -huh. It's joke, 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 joke. Here's a serious moment. Let's kill it with a joke. To their credit, though, in the end, when Vulture, when Peter Parker saves Vulture, they could have had another stupid-ass joke right there, right? When he pulls him away from his wings or something, but they didn't, you know? So, to their credit, they kind of, you know... They let that be. But, you know, when he saves her from the elevator, her fucking suit goes, kiss her. Like, what the fuck is this? And he falls down. Like, it's a big joke, you know. But, you know, that's me. I'm a DC fan. We all hate jokes and laughing, right? We hate it, right? We hate jokes. We hate laughing. <laughs> uh, no, I don't hate that stuff. I think it's fine. But I think if the movie's just solely relying on humor... To get you through it, there's a problem. If it's not a comedy, like Spider-Man's not a comedy. It's a fucking superhero action adventure, man. We're not, this is not a comedy. Like, I should not be, you know, they should not be trying this hard to put jokes in here. They should just be coming naturally from what's happening. And a few scenes, they do do that pretty nicely. When he has to run across the golf court. When his web slingers are acting up and he's like, what the fuck's happening? You know, that stuff's perfect. That's fine. That's Spider-Man. But when you have his side friend, this fat fuck, just like blabbing on and on and fucking joke, joke, joke. Can you do this? Can you do that? Uh, 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 like over and over with his fucking joke. I could, they could cut that all out of the film. We wouldn't have missed anything. That character is completely useless. Uh, what were you looking at? Uh, porn. Like really can't think of anything better than that. That got a big laugh. That got the biggest laugh in the whole fucking movie in my crowd. The porn line. I was watching porn. I wasn't helping Spider-Man. I was watching porn. Ha ha ha. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking forward to Comic-Con, no. though. <laughs> With all the DC news and shit. We're going to get Aquaman trailer. We're going to get Justice League trailer. Uh, probably gonna get news on who's directing, like, Suicide Squad, and fucking Green Lantern, and fucking Flash, and Shazam. We're probably gonna get news on all that shit, so I can't wait for that. Anyway, I'll see y'all next one. Bye-bye.